What's going on everybody? It's your boy C-Dub and here we are with another episode of CW Outdoor. I'm here at my buddy Ian's place and we were talking the other day because we're both movie buff buffs and we're talking about like post-apocalyptic movies like Mad Max and you know Book of Eli things and like that and you see these guys wearing like motorcycle helmets and whatnot you know using them as uh, basically body armor. Today we're going to test those uh that body armor out, at least the helmets, because I got a few motorcycle helmets here that we're gonna see how well they hold up uh, under a few types of weapon, you know, a few type of weapons. Come with us, and we'll check this out. First up, we got a baseball bat with Gil here. We'll be testing the strength of this helmet with the baseball bat. So, Gil's a you know medium-sized build. You know, medium strength. How old are you, Gil? 15. He's 15. He's a strapping young lad. He's going to take a nice whack at this at this uh, motorcycle helmet. See what we can do, what kind of damage we can do. Come on down here, Gil. ODOT approved motorcycle helmet. And, you know, like I said, you see these in movies where they're wearing them as body armor and stuff like that. Let's see uh, how protective these things actually are. So, uh, Gil, go ahead and take a whack at it for me. Bounce back. Do it do the side so it's not in the in the face mask. Yeah. Because we know we're gonna hit shatter that. Alright. Have at it. Alright, did, did we do any damage to it? Pick it up, Gil. Let's see if we did any damage to this thing. It's pretty good whack. And that was two-handed. You know, usually if you're in a battle situation, you might have like a shield in one hand and a you know, usually just one. What we got here? Anything? Double white marks. Little white marks, pull it off, see if we got anything on the inside done. Doesn't look like there's any damage to the inside of this thing, so uh, what are we gonna do about this? Let's try something else. All right, now we got my buddy Ian up and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go at this thing with, you know, the baseball bat. Might hurt you a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna kill you. So it stood up to the, to the baseball bat. Now we got a Boker sent me this beautiful ax. What we got there? Is it on screen? Can you see it? Yep, it's on there. Beautiful little ax, you know, outdoorsman type deal. And that's something that I might carry around in a, a you know, post-apocalyptic situation. And uh, let's see what kind of damage we can do with this thing. Uh, Ian's gonna take a whack at it for me. Go ahead and take a whack at that, Ian. See what we got. Oh, any damage? Yes. What we got? We do got a puncture. Oh, we got a little puncture wound, but let's check the inside of it. That's just the outer shell. All right. Outer shell. No damage to the inside is it, that I can feel. Once again, I'm sure that hurt like hell, but brain's still intact. Now we got a center point crossbow that we're gonna go up, uh, put up against it. It's the Sniper 370. This is a field tip on the uh, bolt itself. Help if I took the, the safety off. Ooh, that one looks like it did some damage. All right, so it went in, but it, like shaved the sides down off the uh, the bolt itself. Let's see how far, it, yes, we do have some damage on the inside of this. So, yeah, motorcycle versus crossbow, not happening. You're, uh, you're in bad shape if somebody hits you with the crossbow. With this motorcycle helmet, as you can see, it's down in there pretty good. I'm sure that's uh, gonna do some damage. So now we switched over to the broadhead just the you know for like I said for shits and giggles got yeah, Gil here Never shot a crossbow before but uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory We got the broadhead on there. And we're gonna see what kind of damage we could do to this uh, To this helmet with the broadhead go ahead Gil Like I said use that top crosshairs and aim towards the upper half <laughs> nice oh yeah Yahtzee all right what we got here 
<laughs> oh, it pulled the, I don't know if you guys can see down in there, it pulled the razor blades right off, <laughs> off that, that broadhead. So the field tip actually did more damage. I guess it's just, it's a stouter, you know, stouter bolt. Check that out. Pull everything off it. So now I'm gonna switch up to a, a, a different helmet. A little bit uh, thicker, should I say. Also ODOT approved, but it's more of the half shell style. We're gonna see how that holds up to some, uh, some firepower. All right, now we switched up to the firearms. We got Ian here with the Mossberg 512 gauge, and we're gonna run some bird shot at it. Yep. Got it that time. All right, you safe? Safety. Safe, good to go. All right, Let's see what we got here, boys. Peppered the shit out of it, as you can see. I don't think we have any entry. No entry on there. Check the inside. No, nope. all good. So your helmet will withstand bird shot. Safety. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got the upper half of it. You know what? Oh no, we got we definitely got some penetration. <laughs> it doesn't look like it from the from the outside. It looked like it just scraped the half, but we go to the inside and there's definitely some some penetration. I'll show these both these helmets at the end of the uh, at the end of the video. All right, so right here is what we got. This is your dragon's breath. To me, this is a gimmick round. Not much damage, just a all show no dough type round. But uh, maybe it proved me to be a a believer. Hold on. Firing one, two, three. All right, let's see what it did. Like I said, I think Dragon's Breath is pretty much all for show. I really don't see a purpose in it except for it, it looks good. Um, yeah, no, not much damage. It might be good for setting a bonfire like from a distance, throw a bunch of gasoline on it, shoot the Dragon's Breath, but there's not much penetration involved. I just believe it's basically, you know, some flammable shit going through the air. but. It looks cool. So, that's it for the shotgun rounds. Now we're gonna use another gimmick round, but it is chambered in 10 millimeter, but that is the, I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's that rip ammunition came out quite a, you know, a few years back. People are buying up because it does look cool, but I don't think it does much. We're about to find out. 10 millimeter rip ammo. You ready? Yep. All right. Let's do this. Aim towards the bottom of the of the helmet because we are so. Oh, he cut it down. Shoot it again on the ground. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Woo! That it? Safety. Safety. Well, that's where you skim the top of it. <laughs> when I was laying on the ground, <laughs> you can see where it skimmed the top of it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Some carnage done to the inside of it. All right, let's switch out helmets and uh, Remington 22 rifle versus motorcycle helmet. See what happens. Gil, you locked and loaded. Oh yeah, keep going. 
Unload that thing. So I decided to shoot at that aluminum bat that we used on the helmet Ian and Gil took a few green tip rounds toward oh, that thing is destroyed hold that thing up get that thing out of there hold it up Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Can we, can we see that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we've put baseball bats up against this. We've hit it with axes, arrows, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 223, 22 long rifle, and yeah. It's not a very good end of the day for the old motorcycle helmet for both of them pretty much destroyed and you know i guess for the most part if you're like in hand-to-hand -hand combat or something like that even with the baseball bat or, or even a hatchet these might do you some good but definitely not against the firearm even the 22 went through these things now it did go up forgot to mention the bird shot it did uh you know hold up to the 12 gauge bird shot but the double watt buck Pretty much uh, made it toast. Dragon's breath, like I said, gimmick round. Usually doesn't have penetration, in it, but it looks really fucking cool. So that's a wrap for today. Send it Sunday. Um, all in all, great day. I think we had a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of first for for those guys. Ian's a, a great friend of mine, and we've been friends for a while now and it's good to get out and shoot with him and make some some footage with him and his his nephew now um Ian's actually going to go do the Appalachian Trail at least a, a portion of the Appalachian Trail so uh good luck on your adventure through the Appalachian Trail Ian if you guys could do me a favor if you like these videos you know go ahead and comment below tell me what you guys want me to test out next you know there are no boundaries here we can have fun with just about anything especially when it comes to firearms and, and weapons of destruction but yeah comment below like this video and do me a favor and subscribe and check out some of the other videos I'm, I'm about to put on this link but I appreciate you guys tuning in and hope to see you next time.